welcome. Now I'm sure many of us have a cupboard like this from a bygone age of disposable plastic filled with millions of curry bows that we no longer use. Um, so I figured I would use mine for something fun and creative. So um, let's get started. Hello again, yes I made it out of my cupboard and what we're going to be doing today is having a go at fusing some plastic bags together. Um, it's a technique I have seen done and I uh, thought I'd give it a go, see how it see how it pans out. So for this all we're going to need is a couple of sheets of greaseproof paper that we would use in uh, cooking, um, an iron set to a low setting, we don't want any steam apparently because we don't want to be melting the plastic as such, we want to just be fusing it together, so we've set it to a low setting. Um, and of course, some carrier bags. So without further ado, let's uh, get started with it and see how it goes. Okay, I think we're ready to go. So before I start, I think it's important to mention that uh, I've opened the windows in this room. Um, although we're not trying to actually melt the plastic and if it does melt, then it's gonna be giving off nasty fumes that we really don't wanna be breathing in. So if you're gonna try this, make sure it's in a very well ventilated area. But that being said, let's get started. So I'm gonna lay down the first sheet of greaseproof paper. And then I'm just starting off small. I'm just going to try and fuse these two small samples together. So layer one over the other. And put our second sheet of paper over the top. And that stops the plastic being in contact with anything you don't want it to be in contact with when it's um, hot. Otherwise it could melt to your iron, which is you do not want. But uh, let's just give it a go. So you want to keep moving. We don't want to um, wait too long on any particular area. I'm not really sure how long I need to be doing this for. I should have really looked, I guess, but I would guess 30 seconds. Let's, let's, I'm going to go Go for a little while and then see how it's doing. If it needs a bit more, then I'll do a bit more. See how that goes. Looks no, nothing. Okay, needs a bit longer. Okay, you see that's starting to work, but it's not quite all the way. I think this needs to be a little bit hotter. Let's try that. Just a little bit. Just a bit. I've only just realised I haven't actually explained what the end goal is here. Um, the answer is I don't really know. Um, I know you can do various decorative things with this technique. Um, I've seen little coasters made with them. I've seen other bags made out of them, like the bigger like handbag style things and even dresses and coats made out of fused plastic bags. But I don't know, I, it, it seemed intriguing to me so I thought I'd give it a go and um, see what I can make out of it. Me. I'm sure once I get the technique down my creative juices will start flowing and we'll get some cool stuff out of it. So for this little test sample you can see certain bits of it have fused quite nicely but some are just yeah, not really working. I don't know if it's the style of bag that this is. Like I said it's quite a thick plastic so maybe that's why. 
maybe the um, maybe the iron just isn't hot enough. Maybe I'm not doing it for long enough. Um, I'm going to have a play around and see if I can figure it out. Okay, okay that's looking a lot better. I think it was just a case of um, being more patient and iron it for longer. So now the uh, next step is to build up layers of these, many layers, and um, put some kind of design into it somehow. Right, ideas. Okay, after several sheets, um, we've ended up with this rather kind of getting quite thick, still flexible, still fairly warm. So I think it's going to stiffen up as it cools down, but it will still be a flexible material. But I guess now we've just got to decide what to how, how to decorate the outside of it, and then I've got a plan in mind for how I'm going to use it to make, turn it into something practical but uh, you shall have to wait and see what that is because you know viewer attention and all that so onwards So after, <laughs> so after several hours of ironing and a little bit of fiddling about, we have this, a little pen pot, for my pens, yeah, pens, and just to demonstrate, just to prove that it is qualified as such, there we are, 
pens being held successfully by a pen pot. I'm sure with a bit of practice you could probably come up with something quite um, quite practical and quite inventive. But for now, I'm pleased with this. I think this, this has come out pretty well. And um, hopefully it's inspired you to have a go yourself. Get rid of some of old, those old uh, carrier bags that are cluttering up your, um, your old cupboards. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you're not already. But for me, that's all I've got time for. So until next time, cheerio. It's the way you should do